Today we're going to look at midpoint and length of a line segment. The midpoint of a line segment is the halfway point between the two endpoints. So if I've got my line segment here, it's not continuing on in either direction, a line segment has a definite, two definite ends. The midpoint is going to be halfway between those two ends, right in the centre here. Now if we actually have a look, the midpoint is going to be halfway in between the x values here, and also halfway in between the y values of our two points. So what we can do is find the average of the x values, and that will find the x value for our midpoint, and we can find the average of the y values, and that will find the uh, y value for our midpoint. So the midpoint in coordinates x, comma y is going to be equal to the average of the x coordinates of our two endpoints and the average of our two y coordinates. So here, for example, I've got x1, y1 here for our first point, and our second point here is x2, y2 for our second point. So x1 and y1 are 1 and 4. So if we add them together, divide by 2, we get the x value for our midpoint is 2.5. If we have a look at the y values, y1 and y2, they're 5 and 2. So adding them together, 5 plus 2 is 7, divide by 2 is 3.5. So that means our midpoint for this particular line segment is 2.5, 3.5. That's the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. We found the x-coordinate by averaging the x values and the y-coordinate by averaging the y values. We can find the length of a line segment using Pythagoras' theorem. So if we have a look at our line segment here, we can see that with our run on our uh, line segment and our rise, that we can get a right angle triangle. And if you remember, Pythagoras' theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. That means if I wanted to find this length here, d, from here to here, that's going to be the hypotenuse of my uh, right angle triangle here. The value 2 here is the, our, our run along here, is the difference in the x values. So my x values are negative 3 and negative 1. The difference between those is 2. Negative 3 minus negative 1 is 2. So I can take this difference here and this difference here, square this, square that, add them together, and then take the square root of the whole, uh, whole lot, and then I get that distance, our value for the hypotenuse for our triangle, for our right angle triangle. So, just recapping here for the ra for the rise, the rise is going from 2 to 5. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So this is our formula to work out that distance. But all it is doing is using Pythagoras' theorem. We're looking at the difference in our x values to find the run. We're looking at the difference in our y values to find the rise taking the square of those differences and adding them together, and then taking the square root of the whole lot to get just c and not c squared. So for our example here, we know that our difference here between our x values is 2, and our difference between our y values is 3. So 2 squared plus 3 squared. That's 4 plus 9, which is 13. The square root of 13, we could leave it, if we needed an exact value, we could leave it as a third, as square root of 13, or root 13, or we can approximate it and round it to two, and I've rounded it here to two decimal places. So it's approximately 3.61. So let's find the, uh, do an example and find the midpoint of some line segments. So this is one pair of points and this is another pair of points. So if we have a look at the average of our x values, our x values here are 1 and 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5 divided by 2, 2.5 for our x value for our midpoint. And our y values are 0 and 4. So 0 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our midpoint for these two points here is 2.52. For these two values here, 
we look at our x values, negative 3 and 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. If we look at our y values, negative 2 and 3, negative 2 plus 3, negative 2 plus 3 is 1, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. You could leave it as a fraction if you wanted to, you could leave these ones as fractions, but it's easier some, uh, sometimes to use a decimal for a Cartesian plane. Now for our length of our line segment, joining our two points, so we'll take this as our first point and this is our second point. We need to find the length of this line segment to two, correct, to two decimal places. So our x values, x2 is 4, x1 is negative 1. So the difference between them, 4 minus negative 1, the difference is 5. So our difference between those two values is 5. If we look at our y values, negative 1 and 2, y2 minus y1, negative 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 3. So our difference between negative 1 and 2 is negative 3. So negative 3 here squared. So 5 squared is 25, and negative 3 squared, negative 3 times negative 3 will be positive 9. 25 plus 9 is 34, the square root of 34. We, if we were asked to uh, leave it as an exact value, we could leave it as that. But the square root of 34 rounded to two decimal places is approximately 5.83. So just remember, when we're using this formula, all we're looking at is using Pythagoras' theorem. If you were having difficulty any, at any point with this, uh, remembering this formula, all you would need to do is draw yourself a diagram of the situation draw the points on a Cartesian plane, draw out a, a right angle triangle from that, and then use Pythagoras' theorem to solve it.